Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. What a week it's been. A hectic one, a busy one, a crazy one, and an exhausting one, not going to lie. It's been a rough week. So, it's been extremely hot here in Pittsburgh. Okay, cool. I like the summer weather. Not bad. I'll take it. At work, it sucks. I hate it because I work in a body shop and normally like in my part of the building for some reason it just bakes in there compared to the other parts of the building it's not too bad so like it's been in the upper 80s and we hit 90 on Tuesday and when it was 90 it was about 100 in the shop it was hot <laughs> the humidity doesn't help so it's been a long week I haven't really had time to do any videos at all. I was happy enough to get that Toys R Us video up for you guys on Independence Day and then get the fireworks video up uh, as soon as I possibly could. And you know, the purpose of the fireworks video is to not only show people the Pittsburgh display of fireworks for the 4th, but for those who can't get out of their house you know, especially the locals, you know, there's quite a few people that might not have TV at all. You know, I know one of the local channels might have broadcasted it. You know, they've done it in the past, like WPXI Channel 11, that's our NBC station. They may have broadcast it live, but for some people that don't have TV, don't get the local channels and can't get out of their house, perhaps my video helps so they can enjoy our uh, fireworks display. So that's another reason why I do that. Plus, I like to watch it, you know, a few times throughout the year of the fireworks, you know, from here in Pittsburgh and just how awesome it is and see the differences between each year. So I was fortunate enough to do that. But other than that, it's been a crazy week. Even, uh, you know, last night, Friday, it was just one of those days at work that when I finally got done, I have all of these things I have to get done and not a lot of time to get it done you know i'm expecting my friend bradley to come over friday night you know because this morning after you're seeing this video we're on our way up to franklin pa uh because i'm looking at this car that his mom is selling and i might be buying it i might not be you'll know in tomorrow's morning video <laughs> but so I wanted to clean up a little bit. I wanted to sweep up the floor. And funny enough, on on Independence Day, I snapped our broom in half because there was like this giant, like, like really big bug. It kind of looked like a scorpion, but it was like a beetle and it flew. I don't know what it was, but it was like literally like, I don't know, probably like half the size of my phone. And I have a Galaxy S9 Plus, so it's not a small phone either, but... It was crazy, whatever it was, and I've never seen this thing before. It had like these like things on the front that looked like hooks, kind of like a scorpion. It had these legs all over it, and it flew. I know that because another one landed on this patio Wednesday night, and Thursday when I was filming at the house for the Fourth of July <laughs> fireworks video, one was at the front door. I'm like, oh my god! And when I tried to kill it with the broom, I kind of went a little crazy with it because I'm like I don't know what this is and broke the broomstick completely in half so Friday night we had to go and get a new broom oh I paid for it anyway and I took Kayla to this place in Springdale if for you Pittsburghers out there we went to this place in Springdale to get ice cream called Glenn's Custard amazing they're homemade custard and oh my gosh their sundaes are so good I had a s'mores sundae with two graham crackers a Hershey bar, like a piece of a Hershey bar, vanilla and chocolate ice cream and whipped cream, hot fudge, excellent. So we did that, and I figured on our way back, 
I have to stop at Walmart to get a broom because by that time most of the other stores have closed, the dollar stores have closed, Target's open, but it's like I don't want to shop there because they're a little pricey. <laughs> so, plus after being a uh, deranged employee there for six years, that's the last place I want to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but but no, I was an employee for Target for six years. But anyway, so we stopped at Walmart so I could get a broom, and Kayla picked up some makeup and a couple other things, and I figured, you know what? I didn't put a morning video together, so last night, when we were at Walmart, I figured I would show you guys the smallest Walmart I know, and I say that because this Walmart is old. It's been around, I think, since 2003, maybe? Somewhere in there, 2002, two, no, not 2002 maybe 2003 or so, this Walmart used to be in Ames. And if I remember correctly, it was a Hills before it was in Ames. I, I can't remember for sure if it was Hills. I want to say it was. I was young, and the one that I went to most was at North Hills Village Mall. But this Walmart was in Ames at the Waterworks Mall. It's a strip mall. It's not an actual indoor mall. It's a strip mall in Fox Chapel, PA. And I figured... This is a unique store, not only because it was a former Ames, but because this is literally the smallest Walmart I've ever been to. I've been to multiple Walmarts, Gen 1, Gen 2, and the Supercenter Walmarts. And if you've been to Walmarts in different types, you know, they have the Supercenters where they literally have everything, including the kitchen sink. Like, they have a full grocery store in there and just about everything you could think of. And then there's the Gen 2 stores which were a step back where they had some grocery but not all of it they they would have a few frozen and refrigerated items but no deli no bakery none of that stuff and they'd have some uh you know non-perishable items and grocery products and all that but not as much as the super centers and then there's the gen one store and this is kind of like one of those stores and in a way um it's really small and they barely have any grocery at all. You know, they have limited product compared to what the bigger stores have. And, well, I'll just let you see it. For, but before we go check out the Walmart, this is what it looked like in the past when it was in Ames. A beautiful, beautiful entrance. I loved Ames. I, I, <laughs> I was really sad when this was gone. I knew it was in Ames for a while, but I can't remember if it was the Hills. I want to say, yeah. So, yeah, Ames at the Waterworks Mall in Fox Chapel, PA. 15 minutes away from my place here, so awesome store. I hate Walmart, but when you live on a budget like I do, sometimes you have no choice. You have to shop there. You have to make ends meet. You know, I hate to say it. I went to the dollar store to get a broom. They didn't have any, and the ones that they had were like 10 bucks. and I'm thinking... For our place, I don't need a $10 broom. I just need, like, a cheap one. You know, because we have hardwood floors throughout the whole place. No rugs. The only rug is the doormats that I have. The uh, the one on the patio here, the USA one. My summertime one at the front door. And my Radio Shack rug, which I got from City View Center. Uh, Radio Shack, uh, which was outside of the property, which was cool. So I figured I'll take that and save that. And it's right at my front door. So, so that's the only real place I need a vacuum, but... I could just make do with a broom, so... Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Let's go to the Waterworks Mall Walmart, a.k.a. Ames. Alright, guys, here it is one more time. The only picture I could find of when this was in Ames via the Ames Fan Club website. Now let's see how it looks out front as a Walmart. Yeah, here's your entrance. Notice it just says Walmart. It doesn't say Walmart Supercenter. Nothing. And that's how far it goes from where those bushes, where that stop sign is at, to the uh, end of the building right there. That's it. That's how big the Walmart is. It's not very big at all. Was a former Ames, and I believe Hills as well. Not anymore.
Oh man, that Steeler sling chair is so cool. <laughs> Holy $94 for that, just because it has the Steelers logo on it. The two I got at home were 35 and 32 Yeah. Of course it is. That's that. Just like that. Right back where we started. Wow, that's a killer deal. Was $27.54, now $27. Wow, that's really on clearance. Whew, man, that's a hell of a bargain right there. On this aisle, you walk down here, takes you to the center of the store. Of course, right into my view. Abandoned shopping cart in that view. <laughs> Back over here again. <laughs> And just like that, here at the front of the store, going that way, and the back, going that way, very tiny. And again, here's the front end. Killing it with how small it is. <laughs> There's the view going out into the doorway. One side, the other. <laughs> then you go outside. Naturally, that's when like 453,296 and one third people get in your shot trying to film the parking lot. Small, small for a Walmart. So there you have it. There's the Waterworks Walmart. Not much to see inside. That store is small compared to other Walmart stores. Okay, so to give you an idea of how big this Walmart is, think about this. A Walmart Supercenter, on average, is 179,000 square feet in size, okay? The Walmart at the Waterworks, which was an old Ames, is a measly 80,000 square feet, approximately. You could fit almost two full stores inside a Supercenter of that little Walmart there. That's how small that is. I've never been to another Walmart quite that size. I've been to a bunch of Gen 2 stores like the one in Heidelberg, there's one in Gibsonia, and obviously the one at City View Center, which wasn't a full-blown super center either, but 
you go to these slightly smaller stores and you can tell, oh, the one in Williamsport too is on the smaller size as is the one in, um, I want to say it's in Bedford, PA, right off of, inter or not Interstate, but Route 30. That's an 80s era Walmart and it's bigger than the one at the Waterworks. So this one is tiny. I don't know what the concept was or what the idea is, but you get it now. So it's small. And uh, honestly, compared to the other Walmarts, when you need a one-stop shop for everything, the Walmart and the Warwick sucks. I hate to say that. It's run okay, but it's so tiny. I kind of see why Ames and Hills kind of went out of business, because that was the same size they were dealing with, if not less. But Hills was awesome. Ames was okay. Not bad, but okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I have a long day ahead of me, and um, I'm going to try and enjoy it. And hopefully in tomorrow's morning video, I have a new car. I can't guarantee it. I don't want to get excited for something that may not happen, but you never know. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a great Saturday. Don't work too hard if you have to work today. Stay cool wherever you are if it's really hot. Stay in the air condition. Uh, stay in the pool. Something. Just stay safe and have fun. Have a great day. Have a great Saturday. Love you all. Take care and stay awesome. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.